Welcome back. Go ahead and suffocate the like button. Stick around until the end to see our next disturbing story you can't afford to miss. In the sleepy town of Elmridge, a sense of tranquility permeated the air, disturbed only by the occasional howling of the wind through the trees that lined the quaint streets. But in the heart of Elmridge, a centuries-old legend whispered fear into the hearts of all who dared to listen. The legend of the boogeyman, known as Mr. Nell. According to the townspeople, Mr. Nell was once a reclusive figure who lived in the dense, murky woods at the edge of town. Cloaked in shadows and mysteries, he was rumored to have made a dark pact that granted him immortality in exchange for his humanity. As the story went, every 50 years, he would emerge from his woodland lair to claim the souls of the wicked and the wayward, his presence marked by a chilling knell that resonated through the chilly night air, a harbinger of doom for those who heard it. Lucy, a curious and brave young librarian, had always been fascinated by the local folklore. With Mr. Nell's next emergence rumored to be approaching, she decided to delve deeper into the legend. Her research led her to a dusty, forgotten tome in the town's library, a diary belonging to the town's founder, which contained the only known account of an encounter with Mr. Nell. The diary detailed a chilling tale of shadows that whispered in the night, of children's laughter turning into screams, and of a town gripped by fear. It concluded with a cryptic warning, beware the knell, for its toll is a herald of the darkness to come. Determined to uncover the truth, Lucy planned an overnight trek into the woods. Armed with nothing but her flashlight, the old diary, and a camera, she set out as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across Elmridge. As night enveloped the woods, the familiar sounds of nature were replaced by an oppressive silence. Lucy's flashlight beam seemed to be swallowed by the darkness, creating an eerie tunnel of light in front of her as she walked. Every snap of a twig underfoot sounded unnaturally loud, and her breath clouded in the cold air. Just as she began to question her decision, she heard it. A distant, solemn bell tolling. The sound was both mesmerizing and terrifying, compelling her to follow. With each toll, the sound seemed closer, clearer, and Lucy felt a cold dread settle into her bones. The path led her to a clearing where the moonlight did not reach, and the darkness was absolute. In the center stood an ancient, gnarled tree, its limbs twisted into grotesque shapes as if in agony. Beneath it, a figure cloaked in shadows swayed gently, as if in tune with the silent melody of the night. Frozen in place, Lucy watched as the figure slowly turned to face her, its features hidden by the darkness. The tolling of the bell continued, resonating through the clearing, and she realized with horror that it emanated from the figure itself, Mr. Nell. As he stepped toward her, the ground seemed to shift under her feet, the shadows stretching and reaching out as if alive. The air grew colder, the chill seeping into her very soul. Lucy knew she should run, but her feet refused to move, rooted to the spot by fear and fascination. The figure stopped just in front of her, the bell silent now. The only sound was the harsh breaths that escaped Lucy's lips and the whisper of the wind through the leaves. Mr. Nell raised a hand, beckoning her closer, his intention clear. Lucy was to be part of the legend she had sought to understand. The story of Lucy and the boogeyman was far from over. As she stood face to face with the embodiment of her fears, she had to make a choice, confront the darkness or succumb to it. The woods held their breath, waiting for her decision. Lucy's heart pounded in her chest, each beat echoing the solemn tolls that had led her to this moment. Her mind raced, searching for some way to escape the fate that seemed inevitable. Yet a part of her was driven by a need to uncover the truth, to understand what lay behind the veil of fear that had shrouded her town for centuries. Mr. Nell stood silent, his presence oppressive, waiting for her decision. Lucy's eyes, although filled with fear, sparkled with determination. She stepped forward, not to surrender, but to challenge the darkness. What are you? She demanded, her voice steadier than she felt. The figure tilted its head, considering her. Then, in a voice that was both a whisper and a shout, echoing around the clearing, he replied, I am the keeper of secrets, the harvester of the lost. I am what your town fears and what it cannot live without. Lucy's mind spun with these words. Why do you take them? The lost souls? she asked, her curiosity overcoming her terror. To maintain the balance, Mr. Nell responded, 
his voice like the wind rustling through dead leaves, to feed the hunger of the woods. His answer sent a chill down Lucy's spine, but it also sparked a realization. The woods, the town, and this mysterious figure were interconnected in ways she had not previously understood. The land needed Mr. Nell just as much as it feared him. He was not just a boogeyman. He was a guardian of sorts. Determined to learn more, Lucy asked, What balance? What does this land need? Mr. Nell extended his hand further, the shadows seeming to gather around him, making him appear both less and more human at the same time. The land suffers, as do the people. I take what is needed to keep the darkness at bay, to prevent it from consuming all. Lucy hesitated, her mind racing. This was beyond anything she had expected to find. It wasn't just about a figure from folklore. It was about survival, about a deep, ancient magic that bound Mr. Nell to this place. As she stood there, she felt the weight of her town's history pressing upon her, the silent pleas of generations urging her to understand, to accept. But acceptance was difficult, especially when every instinct screamed that this was wrong, that there must be another way. And if the land no longer needed you? She asked, her voice a mere whisper against the silence of the woods. Mr. Nell's laughter was soft, sad. Then I would be free, as would all who are bound to me. But freedom is not always what it seems. The air grew colder, the darkness thicker, as if the night itself was listening waiting for Lucy's next move. She realized then that her journey was far from over. There were secrets still to uncover, decisions to be made that could change the very fabric the town was woven from. Lucy took a deep breath, her resolve hardening. Show me, show me everything. Mr. Nell nodded slowly, the shadows receding slightly as he gestured towards the heart of the woods. Follow, he said. As they walked deeper into the darkness, Lucy knew that the truths she sought might alter her perception of reality forever. The story of the Boogeyman and Elmridge was unfolding, and she was now an integral part of it. Lucy followed Mr. Nell deeper into the woods, each step taking her further from the familiar paths and deeper into a realm that felt suspended between worlds. The darkness around them seemed alive, breathing and shifting with a life of its own. As they walked, Mr. Nell began to speak, his voice a soft echo in the shadows. Long ago, he began, this land was a place of power, a nexus of natural energies that the ancient peoples revered. They understood the balance and lived by it, giving as much as they took. But as time passed, memory faded into legend and respect turned into fear. Lucy listened intently, her flashlight's beam flickering over gnarled roots and ancient trees that watched like silent sentinels. But why the fear? She asked, her voice barely above a whisper. Fear is easier than understanding, Mr. Nell replied. And as fear grew, so did the darkness in the woods. It fed on the fear, grew strong, and threatened to spill out and consume all. My creation was a pact, one soul every fifty years in exchange for keeping the greater darkness at bay. They stopped at the edge of a clearing, where the moonlight could not penetrate the thick canopy above. In the center of the clearing, stood an ancient stone altar, its surface worn smooth by time and use. As they approached, Lucy could feel a palpable energy pulsing from the stone, a heartbeat of the earth itself. Mr. Nell turned to her, his eyes reflecting the darkness around them. Tonight the pact must be renewed, but this time the choice is yours. Lucy's heart raced as she realized what he implied. You mean... Yes, he said, his voice solemn. You must decide. Sacrifice to maintain the balance or refuse and risk the darkness consuming your town, your loved ones, everything. The weight of her decision pressed down on her, suffocating and immense. Lucy looked at the altar, then back at the shadows that moved and whispered around them, the darkness eager to break free. Her mind raced, considering the implications of both choices. Then, with a resolve that surprised even her, Lucy stepped forward. There has to be another way, she declared a way to seal the darkness without sacrifice, to end this cycle for good. Mr. Nell nodded, as if he had expected her answer. Then let us find it together, but be warned, the path will be more perilous than any storm you have ever chased. Together, they began to chant ancient words, long forgotten by the world but preserved in the memory of the woods. 
The ground trembled, and the darkness coiled like a living thing, ready to strike. But as they chanted, a light began to emerge from the altar, spreading outward, encircling them in a barrier of radiant energy. The darkness roared, an animal in pain and fury, and threw itself against the light, trying to break through. Lucy and Mr. Nell continued their chant, their voices rising over the cacophony of the battling forces. As the final word of the chant echoed through the clearing, a shockwave of energy burst forth, sweeping across the woods and through the town of Elm Ridge. The darkness screamed, a sound of despair and defeat, as it was pushed back, sealed behind an invisible barrier it could no longer cross. Exhausted but triumphant, Lucy collapsed to the ground, her breath coming in ragged gasps. Mr. Nell stood over her, no longer just a shadow, but a man, his features softened by gratitude. You have done what none before you could, he said. You have changed the fate of Elm Ridge. As dawn broke over the woods, the first light of the morning glistened on the leaves, and the town of Elm Ridge awoke to a new beginning, free from the shadow of fear that had haunted them for generations. But deep in the woods, at the heart of the clearing, the stone altar remained, a reminder of the old ways and the price of peace. Thank you for listening. Now watch this video.